for man and his two wives. A man, in times when polygamy was allowed, had two wives, one of whom, like himself, had seen her best days and was verging upon the decline of life, but possessed many engaging qualities. The other was young and beautiful and shared the affection of her husband, whom she made as happy as he was capable of being, but was not completely so herself. The white hairs mixed with the black upon the good man's head gave her some uneasiness by proclaiming the great disparity of their years. Wherefore, under colour of dressing his head, she plucked out the silver hairs, that he might still have as few visible signs of an advanced age as possible. The older dame, for reasons directly opposite, esteemed these grey locks as the honours of his head, and thought while they gave him a venerable look, they made her appear something younger, so that every time she combed his head, she took equal pains to extirpate the black hairs. Each continued her project, unknown to the other, until the poor man, who thought their desire to oblige him, put them upon this extraordinary officiousness in dressing his head, found himself without any hair at all. Application as Christianity has banished polygamy, no immediate moral can be derived by husbands from this fable, unless we conclude that it is as impossible to serve two mistresses as two masters, for whatever we do to please the one will probably offend the other. To conciliate the affections of persons whose tempers are opposite is extremely difficult, if not impracticable. To wives it may teach that those whose love is tempered with a tolerable share of a good sense will be sure to have no separate views of their own, nor do anything immediately relating to their husbands without consulting them first. All that we shall add to what has been said is to observe that many women may ignorantly, out of a pure effect of compliance, do a thousand disagreeable things to their husbands. But in a married state, one party should not be guessing at or presuming, but inform themselves certainly what will please the other. And if a wife use her husband like a friend only, the least she can do is first to communicate to him all the important enterprises she undertakes, and especially those which she intends should be for his honour and advantage.